What's going on, guys? Uh, just a mini, uh, sort of a mini update. Um, normally, as I'm sure most of you guys that have been following my channel and stuff, uh, you guys have noticed that I put up anywhere from like three to, I don't know, like six videos, three days a week, and then sometimes some extra ones here and there. Um, today, unfortunately, um, there's the cat complaining. As always, uh, today I did not go to the gym. I had, uh, I'm dealing with a bit of an injury here at my shoulder, like right in here and into my back and like up my neck. I, um, in the middle of the night, uh, the other night, I decided to stretch my arms like half asleep and I was just like this and like I pushed up really, really hard and Man, it hurt so bad instantly, and I was still like half asleep, so I thought, well, maybe I'll just roll over and it'll go away, and no, it did not go away. It was, oh, yesterday really sucked. I was just on the sofa, like, all day long. Um, I mean, I wasn't sitting there in pain, I just couldn't do anything, because every time I moved, I could feel it, and it was just, it wasn't comfortable, I should say. So, uh... Let's see, yeah, yesterday I spent most of the time on the sofa. Um, thankfully, it wasn't a lifting day. My heavy lifting day was the day before, so, you know, didn't have to worry about that. But, uh, yeah, I just sat on the sofa and read. I don't know if I mentioned this on YouTube. Um, one of the boxes of books I brought home had a first edition copy of The Exorcist by... Uh, I want to say his name is William Peter Blackie. Laddie? I'm not sure. Anyways, um, I started reading it when I first got it, hadn't picked it up since, but yesterday I read, I don't know, maybe two-thirds of the book, just all day long, reading, reading, reading. It's, it's, an, it's a great book. Um, if you've seen the film, uh, and you know, if you do like it, I do recommend reading the book. It was a lot of fun. You know, that's if you're into that kind of thing. Anyways... Um, God. so I took some NyQuil last night to catch up on sleep because I hadn't been sleeping all too well, and I don't know, I think I took way too much, and then after reading that book all day long, I had the funkiest dreams, like, not like scary dreams, like I was possessed or anything like that, but just like random things from the book were like popping up in my dreams, like lemon heads and crucifixes, crucify? No, that's not true, right. What's the plural form of crucifix? You can't be crucifixes, is it? That just sounds boring. Anyways, <laughs> I'm just randomly thinking. Um, Napoleon. Give me a minute. Sorry, he's, I locked him out, so he's not very happy. Uh, let's see what else is going on. Okay, big major news. And I have to admit, it, it slightly sounds contradicting to my last video, and I'm, I'm not talking about it because I feel like I need to explain it to you guys or, like, justify my actions, but I'm no longer training um, independently. I know, big shocker, after the whole month of fighting over it and dealing with it, but uh, got back in touch um, with my old buddy, my old buddy, with my friend, and, uh, you know, talk things over, and when it comes down to it, uh, we work really, really well together, and, you know, we enjoy each other's company, which is why, you know, we became friends at some point, so, um, decided to go ahead and work together again, so that's pretty cool, because, uh, right now I'm at the point where, like I said, I'm dealing with injuries here and there. And I'm not exactly sure how to work through them on my own. Um, I have not had any success with that. And then also, you know, my weight has been shifting here and there because I just picked up a few bad habits. So, I mean, it's helpful to have somebody to answer to and to weigh in for in the morning, given my situation. And I'm sure, you know, yeah, I, I could keep going on my own, but... Uh, I don't mind the help, and, you know, I dig working with him, so 
everything's good and uh, uh yeah everything's good I'm happy with where I'm at and my choices and I can see things just getting better and better and better from here and yeah I'm excited for that uh, my way in today I'm not gonna share it because I retained a lot of water overnight which is awful but anyways I'm still like in the 356 range um, hoping to drop to maybe 354 maybe on Sunday maybe Monday who knows um, we'll see how it goes I've been really good this week with my eating so I should be alright um, let's see what else can I talk about uh, Hopefully, um, no, I, I should be back at the gym. Um, I talked to my trainer about my problems with my barbell rows and, like, my hamstring, like, getting strained and such. So I'm actually going to be deloading to, like, 185 and then working my way back up. And then especially um, I'll be working on my form because I, I noticed in the last month my form got a bit sloppy. I'll admit that. I... I knew it wasn't what it used to be, you know, once I got into the 200s, but uh, I was just so excited to be getting closer and closer to 225 that I figured, well, as long as I can keep lifting and my form is somewhat okay, then I should be fine, but no, you know, that's more than likely how I um, strained my hamstring in the first place, you know, with bad form. So, I'll work my way back up and build up my form again and my back and uh, that's it no other deloading um, my deadlifts are going to continue to keep going up uh, because I thought for a second I was going to have to deload but that most certainly is not the case so I will not be doing that um, let's see what else is going on um, hmm. Mm. Oh, I think I'm going to the art supply store today, get some new canvases, and hopefully start on some new pieces. I mean, I'm, not, I'm sure you guys have noticed my walls are pretty bare. And yeah, there's a whole stack of canvases up on this side. No. What? Oh, there we go, on that side. No. Over there. I, I'm really bad with the camera and pointing. Anyways, there's a whole stack of canvases behind me, but I don't like to put those up. But, uh, I'm sure I'll paint something soon that I'll want to put up on my wall and you guys will get to see that. Um, what else? Why am I listening to Mac Miller? Oh. At least it's a decent song, anyway. <laughs> um, I don't even know what song this is. Oh, that's even better. All right, well, I'm just rambling on. Um, I guess one thing I should mention, uh, I haven't really talked about it before, but uh, I actually used to uh, go under the name Montgomery Clift, Montgomery spelled with a U. I was um, sort of like a electronica artist, not necessarily EDM, but more like experimental, more artsy, um, I was listening to a lot of um, experimental stuff like Boards of Canada and uh, even some Mogwai. I know that's not electro, but uh, I really dig that whole like music landscape thing. Anyways, I was listening to that and then a lot of like Chill Wave at the time. This was maybe like 2010 or so before all these like hipsters started to claim to like Chill Wave. But let me tell you, I, I work with hipster kids. Um, every time I go to the flea market, you know, the, the hipsters that you see, like, in pictures at Coachella and stuff, and, uh, funny thing is, I'll play music from that time period when, like, Chillway was, like, getting really big, you know, artists like, uh, Toro y Moi, Washed Out, and a bunch of other big names, and I'll play that older music now when I'm at the flea market working, and they always ask me, who are you listening to? Like, they genuinely have no idea. So it's just, it's really funny to see the uh, 
I should say de evolution of hipsters today because I gotta tell you, like, eight out of ten hipsters I meet genuinely have no idea what you know, hipster music and hipster culture is really, really all about. It's more just about the look for them now because, you know, it's cute and it's cool. So, whatever. Anyways, back to the whole music thing. Um, I was doing um, kind of like mixed tapes, you know, like just uh, mixing different artists and stuff. Uh, I started working on my own solo material, but uh, my laptop caught a virus, and so I lost a big portion of that work because I didn't back it up uh, with an external hard drive. Um, I started working more on my own, but I kind of, I took a break from it for a while, and uh, I'm actually looking at picking it up again, now that I'm getting bored with uh, painting so often. I mean, I know I just said I'm going to go pick up more canvases, but uh, my art production has definitely slowed down a lot. So, um... Yeah, I'd like to refocus and pick up Montgomery Clift again. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll share some uh, SoundCloud links to a few tracks I started working on. They're they're incomplete. You know, they're more like mini demo tracks. But uh, just to give you guys an idea of what my music sounds like. So, um, anyways, I guess I guess that's it for this weekly update. So I will um, I'll. Talk to you guys soon. Hopefully my shoulder's a lot better next week. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. So, thanks for listening.